the toughest little ash here. I think I got my issue fixed, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna do this quick Q&A, juicy Q&A sesh again. I have my questions brailed, and I'm gonna mix them up. I don't know what's up with people asking about, like, friendships and relationships, but I guess that's the trend or the thing. I don't really know. But I'm gonna answer these questions as honest as I, I'm just gonna answer them honestly. So, uh, if you're not, follow me on the gram. I am on Instagram. I'm in this guest bedroom right now. Sorry, I don't have the glasses on today because I have a terrible headache. So, it's not going to happen. Um, and they're super strong. They're like telescopic lens. But I'm just... Yeah. So, um, anyways, I'm all over the place. Add me or follow me on Instagram at Little Ash. And I think my username is like Little Ash Nicole. So, if you go on there... I don't have a profile photo yet. I thought I was doing one, but you guys, I'm blind. I'm trying to do this. And so there is a photo of me on there on stage getting ready to perform. But um, yeah, go follow me and I can do more of these videos and I can do more stuff on there. But as of right now, we're going to get into this. So question number one, favorite Starbucks drink? I can't remember. I brilled these. I literally brilled these. Um, my favorite Starbucks drink would be the hot drink would be the hot chocolate and a cold drink would be once in a blue moon, the cotton candy drink, but really I like the double chocolate chip frappuccino, extra chocolate chips. Um, question number two, favorite snacks. Um, I really like celery and cream cheese, cucumbers, um, chocolate banana on a stick like frozen i love frozen fruits i love smoothies can a salad be a snack i feel like it kind of can be a meal or a snack i do like my popcorn and my cookies i do like my sweets and my salty stuff so i like a few things to name a few um if you hear noise in the background they are remodeling our house right now so yeah that's why i'm in the guest bedroom because my light in my room is not working they still gotta fix those fixtures but yeah I've been sleeping in my room, but I just, the light is not working. Anyway, um, number three, favorite season. I love all four of the seasons. I love winter. Obviously, right now it's winter. I love the snow. I don't like when people get power outages. So I want people to be safe, and I want people to be comfortable and okay. But when it comes to actual seasons, snow just cheers me up. It's something about the fluffy white stuff that just makes you smile. You know, it's magical. Um, I love being able to bundle up in snow pants and coats and just boots and go outside and feel the breeze and feel the snow and look at it. I like to see it coming down. It's so pretty. Um, I love the spring, how you can just, you know, you're still having to wear like sweatpants and jackets and stuff like that, but it's getting cooler. So you can start going on walks again and bonfires and um, just hanging out, you know, um, and I love the how the leaves turn and everything. Summertime, awesome. You can go swimming. Um, you can go on trips. You can go to the beach. I mean, you can do all kinds of things in the summertime. Um, and yeah, camp out if you like or, or whatever. But I, I really enjoy the summertime. Um, and then the fall, I like when you're starting to put on those jackets again and, you know, sweatpants. And if you're me, you put on a coat because you get really cold. But I try to not do that as much as possible in the fall, but it happens. And I love making soups and hot chocolate. I would like apple cider, but it don't like me. So, yeah, that does happen. Anyway, I love all four seasons. <clears throat> and sorry, I love everything about them. Favorite holiday. I, my favorite holiday would have to be, it's really hard, but Christmas. I'm not being cliche. I'm a Christian. I love celebrating the birth of Christ. I love making Christmas traditions with my family. I love making Christmas desserts, Christmas cookies. Um, I actually can make Christmas candy. Didn't do it this year, but I can. Um, you know, sometimes when there's so many people in the kitchen, you got to find your turn. But we're going to have a bigger kitchen now, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I love Christmas meals. I love singing. I love hearing Christmas music. Watching Christmas movies. It's like my favorite. I love it. Um, I also love um, the hustle and bustle of Christmas. I just love it. Like, I know this year, um, this past year, rather, we did a lot of Christmas shopping online. And it was fun. And 
It was a little different, but I did miss the Christmas shopping and all that kind. So I love that stuff. I love giving people gifts that I think they're going to love and enjoy. It's the thoughtfulness behind it. I really try my best to get people things that I think mean something to them. Um, getting better at stocking stuffers, but whatever. I try my best. Um, I really, um, you know, I think that, I'm not going to lie, like, I enjoy getting gifts too. Like, I think it's very sweet and kind, and I appreciate each and every gift. I truly do, from the bottom of my heart. Um, so I do get excited when I open a gift, and it's special for me. Um, but I really enjoy giving um, more than receiving because I want to see what the reaction of the person is. I want to see how they react to it. I hope they love it. Um, anyway, I love all kinds of things about Christmas. I love seeing Christmas lights, Christmas trees. I just love it. What are your goals on YouTube? Well, honestly, to get over like a million subs and to like have one of those vlogging cameras where you have like a, a flip up screen, you can see yourself and you, you know, I would have a tripod. I'd have someone to back me up, helping me take photos and videos, filming and editing and making awesome vlogging content and videos. Content you got to figure out, but also, you know, I just, I would really love that. I know as a blind person, it's like, you want to film? Yes, I do. I want to film. I love it. Everything about it. Um, all right. Question number six. Do you miss anything about your previous relationship? Just the memories. So I'm going to go with that. Just memories. Um, favorite animal? I would say a dog. I don't have one right now, but I would love a cute little cuddly, playful, but calm at the same time dog. Like I've been around German Shepherds. I've been around Labradoodles. A golden doodle, um, been around pugs, chihuahuas, a pug chihuahua mix, just to name a few. You know, I don't want your jump on the counter dog, but I, I don't mind a playful dog, but I want it to like chill too. So yeah, that's just me. Um, and relationship advice. <laughs> well, I've been through a few and I have to say this. So know the difference between a relationship and a friendship and um sorry my lips seem dry but they're not um and also just like you know if you're in a relationship relationships are meant to build so don't like you know consistency that's the key like you can't love someone one week and then for the next two weeks you don't and then you love them again that's not how it works that is not a real relationship so know what you want, be clear, be honest, um, integrity, have honesty and integrity, um, treat your relationship very special and very valuable because it's valuable to both people. Um, so yeah, those are just a few things I would say, um, you know, just you guys, that's, that's what I'd say. Um, explain your blindness. So I have stage three retinopathy of prematurity. My retinas are not fully detached. Um, they're partially detached though. So I am categorized as legally blind. Um, I can hold my eye muscles open and I can see more, but my eye muscles are getting stronger. They've been so weak for years because we weren't really sure the magnitude of my vision or, or my blindness or what was going on. Um, so now that we're finally getting some real clear answers which is really amazing. And I do, I'm borrowing these glasses that have a telescopic lens that actually help me see. So I can see like things around this room, but things aren't extremely clear. So without the glasses, I'm pretty can't see a lot of much of anything. I can see some, so it's like I can see, but the glasses make it to where I can see further away and I can see things very clearly. No, I'm never gonna be able to drive. I won't be able to reprint as of right now, unless some miracle happens. So I won't say never, because never say never. But um, took this headband off because my head is just killing me today, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, but so basically, I'm legally blind, and at the end of March, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be getting new glasses with a stronger power. So I can't even imagine like if I can see things now for the past year that I've not been able to see in my entire life. I don't know what what's gonna happen next. So it's really exciting. But yes, I can read Braille. Um, I can see print on a paper I just can't read it because I'm like illiterate because they never knew how much I was able to see so um but that's okay I can read braille very fluently with one finger so I'm good 
That's basically about my blindness right now that we know. Um, what's most important to you in life? So, um, every day is a gift for me because I have a heart condition called Tetralogy of Fallot. And I don't take this lightly. All the doctors say I'm a miracle. So basically, um, once you're in your um, teenage years or 20s, if you have this condition, most likely you'll need a second surgery. And that is basically putting in a pulmonary valve so that you can, um, the blood isn't pumping too hard and it's not overworking your heart. And so that hasn't happened for me yet. Thankfully, I do have six month uh, checkups with the pediatric cardiologist because my condition is pediatrics. Um, my doctor does specialize in adults and pediatrics, so we're good because they can't really match up things with just my age. They have to go by my size. Even the doctor says, like, you're not typical. You guys, I see so many specialists, so many specialists, orthopedic, um, you know, eye specialists, retina specialists, uh, pediatric neurologists, you know, pediatric cardiologist you know it's 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 fine it's good it's fine but the thing is they all say the same thing we go in there with like this like this is a miracle we've never seen this before so yeah um i'm grateful for every day i'm grateful for my best friends and my family um i'm so grateful for them i'm grateful for jesus christ because um without him i'm nothing and with him i'm everything and so you know yeah i have ups and downs and struggles in life like everyone does but I really try my best to focus on the positive. And so, yeah. What is the hardest part about life <clears throat> for you as um, someone with special needs? I think the hardest part is when I try to be positive about things. And some days are just not so positive. But I want to make them positive, you know? It's hard for me to have a bad day. But when I have a bad day, I have a bad day. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday was not a good day. Not going to get into it. It's not a huge deal. But it was just literally from wake up. Do you ever have those days? I'm sure you do. Literally from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. Just things keep happening that aren't like that just your day's just like really? I don't know whether to laugh or cry. It's just one of those days. Um, so I think it's really hard to <clears throat> to um know the struggles and to also like when you're having a good day and then, you know, everything's fine and someone wants to like tell you what your struggle is and be like, well, I don't accept you because of this. Or what if you have another seizure? Or what if we can't go on this trip because of your chair? Or what if this, like, that just annoys me. That's just, you guys, it's, it's like, that's hard for me in life when people don't accept me for who I am completely. Like, you can talk the talk, but if you don't walk the walk, okay, yeah. That's just, I'm just saying, like, that is my hardest part of life. That's the truth. Um, so... What do you love most about relationships? Well, I'm single, but I can say about, well, I'm going to go with boyfriend and girlfriend relationships. I love seeing how people hold hands together, how they truly love each other. Like I said, relationships are meant to build. And so, um, yeah, I love seeing that bond. The bond, the most important thing is the bond it brings between the two so they can build and then, you know, hopefully build a future together. I think that's what most relationships are to be and um you know that's that's what I think the bond um what do you hate most about relationships y'all and these not y'all but whoever asks these questions about these relationships okay so but I'm gonna answer the question juicy I don't have a drink in here with me take a sip of water tea coffee whatever the heck you're drinking milkshakes I need one today um so, I think hate is a very strong word there, but what I really dislike about relationships is breakups. I don't think anyone does. Like, this just breakup seems so middle school to me. Like, why would you go into a relationship and break up? I mean, obviously things happen in life if you're, like, literally meeting out of something. I get that. But, like, if you tell someone you love them, and you do all these nice things for them, and they do all these nice things for you, and then you break up with them because you're scared like i don't know just get some socks your feet are cold that came from a movie by the way so i didn't create that but i'm being serious like if you if you are he came from sweet home alabama though seriously like i don't know whatever my whole point is like 
I get people need to figure themselves out and not get scared, but be committed. I hate when people are not committed. Can't stand it. If you're like in a relationship with someone and like you're not fully committed and the other person is and they're thinking that you are, it's just, it's just unnecessary. I'm not really a fan of that. So yeah. Um, and I just, I just don't like seeing people that have special bonds, things fall apart for absolutely no reason when they don't have to, you know, no one likes, there's no perfect relationship. There's absolutely no perfect relationship, but just know there's going to be bad days. There's going to be good days, but if you care about each other enough, you work at them out together. So that's that. Um, last one. What's your favorite song right now? Right now, my favorite song would have to be The Older I Get by Alan Jackson. I know, country song, twangy, nice, and yeah. Um, at the end of February, I'm going to turn 35. So I'm a little person, and I've learned so much, and I'm still learning. Like, I still have so much learning to do in my life. But I like that song, so if you Google it, YouTube it, I don't know. Um, you know, I do agree that the older I get, like, the more I think. And the longer I pray and the more I have to say because I have learned so much and it's just it's just a song that really resonates with me because I feel like I've been through so much but I know that God is going to get me through anything and everything that doesn't mean it's always easy that doesn't mean we don't have emotions that doesn't mean we don't stand up for what is right but that just means that you know think about the older you get time passes by and what do you want in life and how you're going to get there? So don't waste time wasting time. All right. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. If you haven't yet, subscribe. And if you can, comment down below if YouTube will let you. Um, anyway, don't forget to follow me on the gram, a little ash. And thank you all for watching. Peace.